Hey there, I'm Marco LaFox, and this is how to find the perfect guitar tone. I see This is possibly one of the biggest mysteries in music production, especially if you're a guitar player. How to find that beautiful, heavy, aggressive, crunchy, razor sharp guitar tone. And I'm going to explain to you today what worked for me and uh, hopefully you can, you know, take a few notes and uh, apply it in your own music production journey into your own songs and hopefully make your guitar sound just the way you want it. All right, so we're going to divide this video into three, let's say, steps or tricks. So trick number one is going to be reference your sound. What do I mean by referencing your sound? Well, that is basically taking a specific guitar sound from a song or an album or an artist that you like and using that as your template for your own sound. So for example, a lot of times as an artist or when you're working with somebody else, they're always going to say, oh yeah, I want this guitar to sound just like the guitars of X album or just like the guitars of this artist. For example, I want my guitars to sound similar to the guitars of, of Hybrid Theory, Linkin Park. So that is referencing the sound and that is something you have to do as a producer because obviously you're not the first person in the world making music. There's thousands of other people that have made music in the past and there's a lot of successful artists that have successful records from where you can take inspiration from. For example, the guitars I wanted to reference were the guitars from 30 Seconds to Mars debut album. It's got this very interesting looking album cover. And those guitars sound gorgeous. Like, in my opinion, for the sound I was looking for, they were Beautiful. Here's an example. You see how crunchy those are and how, you know, they, they almost feel like, like motorcycle engines. I can't really play that much because, you know, I'm gonna get copyright. But as you can see, they're very, oh, they're driving, they're strong, they're there, they're like in your face, but they're beautifully placed into the stereo field. Like I said, number one, reference your sound. That's the base of my sound. Every single guitar player has its own way of crafting their, their sound. And I have I have an amp right here. I know the, the knob placements uh, on each of the settings so I can, you know, craft my sound. But when recording music, and here's a video on how to, how I make music right here, how to make music spending zero dollars, which is, yeah, what I'm teaching you right now. I don't record or track my guitars using the amp. I plug my guitars directly into my computer so I can track them that way. And that is something that a lot a lot of artists do and the sound is just more pure in my opinion. For this video, we're going to be using the wonderful, and I'm, there's no, this is not sarcastic, this is actually a real statement, GarageBand. It's great. It is a great tool. It's great when you're starting and it's great when you're a professional successful artist. So as you can see, GarageBand has a lot of guitar presets over here. Uh, they've, they have a lot of sounds um, and you can, you can pick one of these, so that's what I did. I just picked one of the sounds that I liked and I used that as my bass, as my working bass. So one of these sounds, I was like, okay, which of those sound more similar, closer to the 30 Seconds to Mars guitar sound from you know Jared Leto? And that's what I went with. Trick number two, work on your bass. So once you have the bass for your sound, in this case, you already have your reference and you already have a particular guitar sound that you like from your DAW or your amp, whatever it is that you're using, we're gonna take that sound and work on it. We're gonna make it better. We're gonna make it more perfect. Back to GarageBand. GarageBand has a lot of different plugins that you can use to modify and amplify your guitar sound. As you can see, you have a lot of amps, different amps you can choose. Like every single guitar sound here has different amps you can you can just use you have different amps you have different amp cabinets you have even some some pedals here it's a lot of pedal boards you can choose from it's great and each of the pedal boards and each of the amps and each of the amp cabinets have their own little knobs you, you can twist and turn and, and you know tune your sound a lot better but not only that you know what else is great you can place your mics 
that's great. Just as if you were recording with real microphones using a real amp, GarageBand gives you the ability to move your microphone placement and get that, get the sound you want. Once you've figured out what is the sound that you want, it's time for trick number three, which it's kind of like the same thing as trick number two. And this is make it your own. Make it your own. Yeah, you can get it sounding as close as possible to those glorious guitars in the new Wage War record. Great, but this is your record. This is your song. This is you as an artist. So you gotta make it your own. That's why working on your bass, trick number two, is really, it's very important because you, you can customize it. You, you can just see what feels right and work on that. And here's a bonus trick for you. Let's call it trick number four. Well, it's kind of a no-brainer, but EQing. Yeah, EQing plays a massive role on your guitar sound. EQing is crucial to your sound. Your guitar sound, it can be great on its own. You can just listen to your guitarist, like, you know, soloed, and you can be like, wow, this is brilliant, I love this. But then you bring in the rest of the mix, your drums, your bass, your vocals, your synths, and then you're like, where did my guitars go? They're either muddy, you know, you can't, you can't really make out what the hell is it you're playing, or they're like so loud that it's like, oh, what happened to my bass? You know, you have an end justice for all problem, you know, where there's no bass. Or you can be like, why, why are my guitars like so boomy? Why, where is my kick? Where is my bass? So usually for EQ and guitars, the richness of the guitar lies in the mids, right? You, you definitely want to play with that and get your guitars not only sounding great on their own, but you also have to be conscious of, like I said, of the entire mix, right? Because it's, it's a mix. It's like, it's like making a cake, you know? Um, you got to put the right amount of each ingredient because if you don't, if you overdo an ingredient, your cake is gonna be either super watery or super dry or just not tasting great or salty for some reason, you know what I mean? The guitars are not the most important part of the mix. <laughs> They're not. Every single instrument in a mix has its own placement and its own role to play. Those are my three slash four tricks on how to get your perfect guitar sound. And yeah, and by doing all that, here's the final result. no actúan de acuerdo a los principios de la palabra y que es lo primero que vamos a hacer juzgarlos señalarlos y es justamente este momento lo que hace que nos separemos del Señor esto nos desvía del camino That was a little bit of uh, my song Into Space, which is available on Spotify and Apple Music. If you want to give it a listen, I'll really, really appreciate it. And also, if you want to watch a music video, it's 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 here. <laughs> it's it's available right now on YouTube. You can just go ahead and watch it right now. Anyways, if you're interested in watching more video more videos like this, if you like what you saw, make sure to subscribe. Follow me on Instagram at Martin Self, and check out my music. All right, that's it for today. Thank you for watching. Oh,